Welcome everybody, Happy New Year. It's great to have you with us here at Messy Church at the start of 2021. Now we pray with a new year comes renewed hope, hope for the future, hope for freedom from COVID-19, getting back together again. We are praying really, really hard for that. Now, this year, we want to really learn the lessons that God taught us last year. And that is... Church is not just about this place, it's about God's place. That is in here. So we thought long and hard about where were we going to go this year with Messy Church? And after the crazy year we had last year, we thought, let's, let's think about the things we've learned and let's build on those through the stories that we tell and the moments that we create for people in their homes. Last year, we spent a lot of time singing a song in our church called Waymaker. And we talked about how God is moving in our midst. And we thought, you know, we learned that more than ever last year with having to move out of our church building and do things differently. Um, God went with us wherever we are, whatever we're doing, even though things around us are crazy. God is always moving in our midst, he's always with us. And today we want to look at the story of a man named Moses who spoke to God in a, in a completely different way. God promised to go with Moses wherever he went. We're going this way. See, Moses grew up in Egypt and he was the one of the sons of the princess of the day. You might have heard the story about how Moses was born. He was hidden in a basket by his mother to escape being killed by the Egyptian pharaoh, put in a river and rescued by this princess. He grew up in the kingdom of Egypt and then he had to run away because he found out who he really was and he helped the Hebrew by killing an Egyptian guard. So he ran away to a different land. And there he had to start a new life completely fresh again. But then it was in that land that God spoke to Moses and he spoke to him in the most amazing way. Because one day, Moses was out and he saw a bush that was on fire. But when he looked closely, the bush wasn't burning up. It was on fire, but it wasn't burning. And as he got closer, God's voice spoke to Moses. Moses, take off your sandals. The ground is holy. It was God. God asked Moses to go back to Egypt again and speak to Pharaoh and ask him to set God's people free from slavery. And Moses was afraid he didn't want to go. He said, no, please send somebody else. I can't speak well. I'm not very good at what you're asking me to do. I can't do it. But God said, don't worry, Moses. I promise I'll go with you. scary things last year, a lot of change, a lot of things that were different. But this year we want to learn that wherever we go, whatever comes at us, it might be scary, it might be fun, it might be hopeful, it might be joyous, it might be and more change and more heartache and stress. But wherever we go, whatever we do, just like God promised to Moses, God promises to us that he will go with us. And that can give us hope, that can give us peace. As we start the year, let's start the year knowing that God is with us. What I want us to do now is sing that song, Waymaker. I've come up with some actions to go with it. Let's do that together. Get ready to dance. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you.
Year. That's the, the song that gave us the idea uh, to start this year off thinking about how God is with us. We've had a crazy year, we're going into another year where loss is unknown to us, but we can be reminded that God is with us everywhere we go, not just when we're at church, not just when we're at home, but when we go to school or work or wherever we're going in life, God is with us and he promises to be. He promised Moses and he also promises us. We've got some ideas of things you can make this month. If you've got a bag, you've got some of the resources in there. If you didn't get a bag, check the link in the description of this video and that will give you some resources to help guide you um, through what we're doing. Here's some of the things you've got on off you. We have got a lovely little calendar you can make. Um, just decorate it, Look, think about what's coming up in your year. Be reminded that God is going with you in those things. How does that make you feel? Put it up somewhere to remind you of the story of Moses and the promise that God goes with us. We found the Footprints poem, um, which is again an amazing poem written a long time ago. Print it out, decorate the board around the outside, stick it up somewhere to be reminded that in life when things get hard, you know, God carries us through sometimes because life gets a bit tricky. We came up with an idea to make a, a, what we're calling a flaming tasty food craft. Um, so you get some raisins, some twiglets, um, and some like those triangle shaped tortilla crisps crunch them all together and make a bit something that looks a bit like a campfire we thought just to remind you of that flaming bush that God spoke to Moses through um, and when we pray we can have a conversation with God and um, he doesn't always speak back to us in a way we can hear with our ears but often in life I've known and I know other people have known that God speaks to us like he spoke to Moses um, but in slightly different ways as you make that fire uh, be reminded of that story and maybe even pray whilst you do it as well we thought you could come up with a little uh, make your own flame out of a pot with some tissue paper and a little tea light in the bottom, battery operated if possible, um, that you can put up in your room and t t turn it on at you know, night time in a, in a dark place and be reminded of the story of God talking to Moses. We thought it would be fun to do something about sandals or feet um, so you can make uh, some, some sandals um, to stick up somewhere, you can colour your feet and you can paint your feet, splodge them on some paper, cut them out, add some flip flop style things, make it look like some sandals uh, and stick that picture up again to remind you of that story in a really really fun and colourful way and a little bit messy too because it wouldn't be messy church without some mess. On the link or in your bags you've got some prayer cards as well that you can decorate um, and flick through and add things to um, just to give you a bit of guidance as you try talking to God, you try um, communicating with God like Moses did. It's just a, a little fun way we thought we could get you started if you've never prayed before or if you sometimes you think oh, it's a bit hard to know what pray to God, then use those cards to sit quietly and talk to God, to write down ideas about what you think, what's on your mind, what's going on, what are you worried about, like Moses was worried he wasn't good enough, and God can speak into that and promise you that he's with you, whatever you're facing. There's one last activity that was a sewing one, um, if you're a bit little it might be too tricky, not everybody got it in their bags, but have a look at the link otherwise and you can make a lovely little love heart with paper clip and some felt clip it somewhere to remind you that God loves you so much wherever you go his love goes with you and he will always be caring and looking out for you. That's all of our ideas we hope um, you enjoy them we hope you get a lot from doing them together at home as a family we'd love to see pictures of you doing that share them with us on Facebook here or on email as well we get them as a church our kids ministry is also on Instagram check out this tag and you can post pictures there you can send us messages you can just follow our feeds. We pray this is a really hopeful start to the year for you 
you're really blessed by these activities and this story of Moses. All I want to do now is pray for you. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thank you for the hope that he is. Thank you for your promise to Moses and your promise to us that whatever we face, wherever we go, you go with us. Help us to know that, to remember that, to focus on that when times are hard. Bless us, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2021. Let's hope and pray that it's maybe a bit better than 2020. Let's learn the lesson that God is with us wherever we go. He's moving in our midst. Be blessed, everybody, wherever you go, whatever you face, on your way.